there all you wonderful guys gals and ghouls cj here welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another review and in this video i will be reviewing nadine 48 watercolor half pan set i bought this set from amazon for about 30 bucks link in the description below as well as you can see it comes in this little box and the set itself is a dark navy blue metal tin. On the bottom there's a hoop to hold it as a palette. Presumably for plain air sketching. So this set is advertised as a travel set or it can be used as a travel set. The whole palette itself isn't extremely heavy but it definitely does have some weight to it so it can be kind of clunky and cumbersome then again it doesn't feel so light that it would easily bend buckle or break on the inside of course is the half pans of paint also on the inside there is two compartments that open up into pallets the inside is coated with white enamel so as the paint won't stick and stain the surface. I know that it's kind of dirty right now, but I think later on in this video I show that it can be wiped off and it won't stain. The paints themselves come individually wrapped, almost like little candies, with color name and info. The info seems to have something to do with light fastness, but this brand doesn't have a website, just the Amazon store and I think a AliExpress store. So I don't know what metric they're using to say these are light fast. I mean, they all have three stars, but again, I don't know what they're comparing it to. For my own purposes, I cut out the colors names and made small swatches. When using the paint, they were kind of hard to activate. I had to really wet them with a spray bottle. But once you get them from brush to paper, the colors are actually pretty vibrant and bright. They kind of dry chalky though. When you let the paint dry, again, it's kind of hard to activate or rather reactivate it. I feel this could go either way because while this is great for glazes, it may be a bit of a rough time to correct a mistake when trying to lift the paint up because it's pretty much there. It stains the paper. Also, just as a side note, I ended up getting another yellow instead of a silver gray. I emailed to the email address that was provided on the box but I haven't received a response back yet, so I will keep y'all posted on that. This in itself doesn't really have to do with how the paints act. It more so has to do with how the palette is structured, I guess. Um, don't be a total goofball like me, though. Drop the palette, then kick it and sent the colors flying. I mean, the little bastards just scattered everywhere. Um, luckily, I made a swatch sheet already, so I went through each color, got them back in their little um, pans, and got them back in the order that I had them, because if I hadn't, that would have been a total nightmare. I ended up making this piece of Bruno Bucciarelli from Jojo's Bazaar Adventure Golden Wind and I used a little bit of fine tech gold paint to like put some little accents on it but the majority of this piece was made with my Medine um, watercolor set let's go ahead and get the negatives out of the way um they don't really wet easily or re-wet easily I feel as though you could easily tear your paper trying to um, 
move the paint around. This is probably because they use dyes and not actual pigment. Again, I'm guessing because there's not a whole lot of information on this set other than the little blurb they give you on the Amazon listing when you look up this set. There's just not a whole lot of information on this set. Again, they have um, stars to indicate light fastness, but all the colors have three stars, or I think they do. I kind of messed up my little my little color swatching sheet. That part is on me. But I don't know what metric they're using. You know what are what are they comparing it to? So yeah, the light fastness is questionable at best yeah there's really no pigment information or really not a whole lot of information period on this set not not a whole lot uh, again other than what I see on the Amazon listing alrighty onward to the positives the majority of these colors are pretty transparent you can glaze them pretty easily. They blend well, and you have lots of color choices. I mean, it was like I opened it up and it's like, ah, all these colors just like making my eyes just dance around the palette. I thought it was pretty, pretty fun. They're pretty vibrant and bright. Again, they kind of dry with like a chalky finish, but it's, it's not that bad to be honest. It's, they still look great on paper. I feel as though this set is good for a student or hobbyist or anyone that's just beginning to learn the basics of watercolor. I feel as though the quality of the paints are good enough that it won't be too difficult to work with and it won't discourage anyone from not trying out watercolor for the first time. I do think it is a good travel set or even a um, plain air sketch set. And even though the quality of the paints are not the most high end, of course, you can definitely have fun with this set and get some decent pieces out of it. Well, that about does it for this video, Ghoulies. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all on the final frontier. Bye.